Hi everybody, it's Friday again and uh, here's another video coming to you from Renew Me TV and of course it's another beauty tip coming from Renew Me TV. Today after um, I did my video um, on Monday or Tuesday, I can't quite remember what day that was now, I had so many, so, such a great response to the video, uh, even though it was out of focus and everything, and I do apologise for that, um, but uh, so many people um, really enjoyed the video, so um, when they wrote emails to me, they all wanted to know about how to shape the nose. So right away I thought, on Friday, this is what I'm going to have my next topic on, is shaping the nose. Now the nose is really important because everybody, it's a focal point, next to the eyes, it's a focal point of your face. And a lot of people are very self-conscious about their nose. Now we look at our nose and we think, oh this is awful, we can't, you know, we, it, people must think we just have this most horrible nose. But really in reality, nobody uh, would look at you and say, you've got an awful nose. But if you're feeling like that, what today is about is how to shape your nose. So I'm going to give you two exercises very quickly today. The first one is how to um, make your nose a little bit more uh, straighter and the other, no other one is how to lift your nose and create the distance and space between your top lip and uh, the, top of your, the tip of your nose. Now I don't know if you know about this but uh, visually um, if the a distance between the top of your lip here and the tip of your nose is wide you visually appear younger. Now, um, for me, this is what I wanted to achieve because my nose was starting to droop. And as you probably all know, as we age, our nose keeps growing and our ears keep growing. Now, I can't do anything about your ears at this stage, but uh, I can help you with your nose. Now, the first uh, exercise I'm going to give is the one that I do um, regularly. And uh, what this will achieve is we'll lift the nose, it will strengthen the muscle along your nose at the top and around here. So there's very specific instructions on how to do this. So firstly what you do is you push your nose upwards and it looks funny, You've got like a little piggy nose. So it looks funny, do a little piggy nose and then you pinch the top of your nose like this and then you flare your nostrils. Okay, now notice I'm not moving any other muscle in my face as I do it. So I'll do it again and this is all I'm doing. Now when you do this exercise you have to be careful not to go like this because you want to really uh, exercise these muscles just here and along here. So we'll do it again, we'll push it up and then we pinch it at the top and we push down, we flare at the nostrils. Now I do these a hundred times a day and when I finish doing them I hold it as tight as I can for 20 seconds. Now really really tight, like tight like you're going to burst tight. And that what that does is it creates the lactic acid burn and as you know when you get the lactic acid burn you know that it um, helps build the muscle when it's finished. So that's the first one. Now the second one is how to strength, uh, how to, sorry, how to uh, length, um, how to make the nose a bit pointier. So, you put your finger on the tip of your nose, you press it down, and you flare your nostrils again. And you try to do that for 20 times. Finish, take a big deep breath, and then do it another 20 times. And then hold for 20 seconds. on the last amount of reps that you do. Now this is really important, the holding, as I said, because it creates the lactic acid, the lactic acid burn. And as I explained in my last video, very similar to when you're lifting uh, weights, it's that lactic acid burn that you want to achieve. Now, you have to do facial exercises every day. If you want to have the results, you have to do it every day. Recently I did a survey on some of my products to my existing clients and to people who had bought my little laser. Now I have a home use laser and what this is is a red light uh, laser beam and also a microcurrent. And basically you use it over your face and what this does is it, is it smooths out the skin, it takes off the, uh, the dead uh, cells off the top of your skin so it makes your skin look smoother. But it also feeds the cell at basal layer because uh, the red light 
um, is uh, perfect for feeding the cells. It actually goes in at something like nine, um, 650 nanometers, and that's a perfect level for it to go into to start waking up those cells and start rejuvenating the cells as they come to the top. So this is a very specific little device, a little gadget that you can use at home. But this lady was absolutely amazed that uh, when I asked, is the device effective, the only thing she could say is, well, you have to use it regularly. If you use it regularly, it is. And I had to have a little laugh at that because you do have to use it regularly for it to work. If you don't use it, it's not going to work. I remember asking my girlfriend who uh, very early on in the days of Renew Me, I gave her one of the, um, uh, the devices uh, to use and I called her up about, I don't know, about six weeks later and I said, how are you going with it? And she said, well, actually, it's not working on my face. And I said, really, it's not working. And I was a bit sort of let down. And I said, um, how are you using it? And she said, well, actually, I don't know where it is. So, of course, it's not going to use, it's not going to work on your face if you don't use it. But it's the same with facial exercises. You have to do these every single day. And you find the best time to do it. And as I mentioned before, I feel the best time to do it is at night, when you're laying in bed, before you go to sleep, or when you wake up in the um, wee hours of the morning, if you're an early uh, waker, uh, it's a good uh, time to do it then as well. So I hope this has helped. If you've got any questions, please call. Please remember to subscribe. And um, if I can, I'll get another one, another video out as soon as possible. And I hope this helped. And please also email me with your questions about various parts of your face. And I'll see if I can help. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.